Hello everybody, I am JupiterXOXO and this is Let's Play FTL. So let's go ahead and start a new game. As you can see I've unlocked every single ship so I will probably be doing a Let's Play of every single one of these ships eventually but I will start with one of my favorite ships, the South Cruiser, the Sasio. Alright, so let's name the first character Jupiter. Alright, and um, customize this into Mars. Alright, everybody else can be their original name, that's fine. Let's go with easy mode because I have yet to defeat the final boss with this ship on normal. This is fantastic. We begin in a nebula. That's bad. Well, let's charge everything up. Med Bay could be left uncharged. This is fine. We don't need any missiles or drones. And let's organize everybody first. Good, good, good. Mars goes to the engine room. Brecken can go to the medic bay. No, no, no. Brecken goes to the weapons room. That's good, that's good. Alright, so this is my favorite, one of my favorite ships because it starts with the stealth device. I use it to dodge missiles mainly, but um, its detriment is that it doesn't have any shields. So we have to rely on the stealth device to actually prevent damage. Another thing about this ship is that it looks so freaking cool. But it requires heavy micromanagement. Alright, this is our first beacon. This is a rebel ship. You're hailed by the rebel ship. When the rebellion is complete, you will see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the point. They arm weapons. Ah, they have a drone too. This is bad for us. And they have a missile launcher. And three... Three members. I think the best thing to do here is to cloak. It only lasts a few seconds, unfortunately. Alright, so it damaged our engines. As long as it doesn't damage our weapons, I'm fine. Dual lasers should definitely go into shields. And it missed both! My god, that is bad. And the self device is damaged. Fix it, fix it, fix it. This is good. Uh, since engine room is fixed, come help out. This is really bad. Dual lasers into the shields. Good. Uh, okay. Mini beam will have to hit all four rooms if I can. Like this. Good. Okay, we disabled their drone system, which is really important because the drone system can do the most damage to us. And their weapon system is down as well. So let's move everybody back to their original positions. We need auto fire to be on because I can't quite tell. Alright, as long as it attacks the drones next, it will be good. They are surrendering. When an enemy surrenders, they give you multiple items, such as fuel, drone parts, and scrap. But if you defeat them, you get a lot more scrap than they are originally offering, so we will destroy them instead. Auto fire, mini beam could go anywhere. It will destroy in one hit. Good. See, more scrap than before. But less of the other, other items, I think. Mars was hurt during the um, skirmish, so let's heal her up. And move her back. This should be fine. Turn off auto fire because it's unnecessary. Alright, this is uh, really bad because we cannot go to any environmental hazards. When you see that little circle around that symbol, right, that means there's either a solar flare, yeah, it says it's very close to the nearby sun. Solar flares damage the ship over time and since we don't have any shields, this is the last place we want to be. I will take the long way around because I want to go to as many beacons as possible so that we can build up scrap. Oh, this is nice. 
get a free weapon. Heavy laser requires three energy slots, but fires two heavy lasers with two damage each with a low chance of fire and breaching. This is a really good weapon. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use it until later. Also, I have forgotten to upgrade our weapon system by one. But it is not really necessary at the moment, I guess. Well, we did it anyway. It's fine. Let's jump to a store, huh? Now, we don't need to go to the store yet because we have no scraps to use. We could sell the heavy laser, though. Alright, this is an empty zone. That's not a good. Aid the civilian ship, always. Alright, so as a pirate ship, we have two weapons. We could handle that. One's a bomb. So, uh, dual lasers and mini beam will get on the ready and we will prepare to stealth. To cloak, I mean. Cloaking device, not stealth device. Okay, so uh, it's one laser versus a bomb. I don't think we can dodge bombs, so we're going to cloak now. When you cloak, it increases your evade ratio, so any missiles that come across will just miss your ship completely. Okay, so dual lasers and mini beam is recharged. Dual lasers first, and then mini beam will go like this. Can I get all four rooms? Maybe, maybe if I position it just right. Hmm, this is strange. Like this, maybe? Ah, forget it. I'll just play it safe and get three rooms instead. This is good. Their, sh their shields are completely down. Their weapon system is semi-down. We will have to take that one hit, though. And it hits us. Okay. <clears throat> That's fine. And we get more scrap. We should go to one of these beacons, I think. Or should we go to a store? We could sell the heavy laser, but... Um, not too necessary. We don't need to go to the store yet, so we'll go to the other beacons instead. Alright, this ship has... Two weapons. And silly me, I did not wait long enough to recharge my stealth cloaking device. You should really spend enough time after every battle to prepare for the next one. Alright, this is good. They have a laser and they have another laser. I think this one fires twice? So, I'll take the... Okay, never mind. They're firing both at the same time now, so I'll use cloaking device now. And it should both miss. Good. Dual lasers. Use it on the shield. Good. Mini beam will go across all three rooms if I can make this happen. Yeah, if it, even a single pixel lays within the room, it will count as it hit. Like so. <clears throat> we cause a fire, which is good. And we will redo the same thing all over again. They fired one laser, but we can't dodge it. Okay, so they cause a hole breach, which is bad. Uh, we have to open doors so that oxygen goes in, and we can fix it without getting hurt. Mini beam is charged into all three rooms again. Alright, that was a decent battle. Brecken should not take any damage doing this, so... Uh, yeah. Good. Back into the weapons bay. Okay, we still don't have enough scrap to buy our first level of shields. Uh, shields cost 150 and we only have 80. So let's go to the next beacon. Alright, so these guys are pirates and they're saying pay a small fee or we will attack you. Reject their offer, because we need every scrap we can get. Ah, they have a drone as well, unfortunately. And we can't do much about it except cloak right now. It only lasts like three seconds maybe. But it will give us buy us some time at least. Dual lasers are charged, but we must wait for mini beam. Okay, dual lasers is good. No 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 no, I mean to use yeah. Dual lasers into the shield. 
Good. Laser will have to hit all four rooms if I can. Like this. Good. Ah, so they are surrendering and they're giving us two missiles, one drone and... And they are giving us a augment. This is definitely worth it. Reloader is really good, so uh, we'll take it. But that last plasma hit us. So uh, we are under 50% hull. We need to go to the shop to repair ourselves if we can. <coughs> we'll probably do this in the next sector though. Because um, the reb rebel ships are closing in as you can see. Every turn it increases by a little bit. And if we go to the store, I don't think we'll make it, so, um... Okay, so, um, I think we are ready to jump to the next sector. We should not go to the shop, I think, uh, because we don't have any... We don't have enough scrap to buy anything yet. Mm, let me double check. Yep, we don't have enough to buy anything yet. So, let's jump to the next beacon. I think I can make it... If I went here first, yeah. Oh, it's another one of these guys. They're um, toll. They're asking for a toll, and we're going to reject their offer. All right. So they have three members, uh, two members. They have a beam, which is bad for us. But uh, what can we do? They should be firing any second now. Oh, uh, dual lasers is done, so we will do that first. How oh, on two shields? They just fired one, so we'll enter stealth. Have to destroy their shields, so uh, this should do. Good, their shields is destroyed, and they are surrendering. Should we accept their surrender? We need more scraps, and we have a lot of fuel, so we we don't need to um, accept it. We'll just destroy him. Oh man, this is bad. This is really bad. Dual lasers into your weapon system. Okay, both their weapons are down. And then mini beam into shields. And it will just drag across here into their weapon system. That should finish them. Get Brecken over here to help stop the fire. Mars is hurt, so um, let's save some time. Get Mars into the medic bay. Okay. Bracken back into the weapons. Mars into the engine room. Alright, this is good. We should go to the next store though, because we need to fix our we need to repair our ship. Ah, oh, this is, um... This person also has a beam, so I don't want to fight him. I also don't need to scout out the sector anymore, because we are almost done. Let's ignore this guy, and, uh... Ah, oh, this is a distress signal. Can I make it, though? If I come here, it'll be up to here. If I jump back here, it will be up to here. And then it'll catch us during the exit. No, no, no. We have to rush for the exit now. This is a nebula. It's a bad place for us to be. We are fighting a drone with two weapons. One is a beam and the other is a laser, I believe. They also have a shield, so we, have, we need to focus on taking out the shield. I'll just prepare to stealth right now. Okay, dual lasers is done. Uh, should we fire them now? No, no, no. There you go first. Now we will cloak. But it landed anyway. It m must have been too late. Oh well. We need to take out their weapons. Seems like Mars is always getting burned. This is bad. Really, really bad. Dual lasers is done. And uh, Mars is about to die, so let's rush her out here and clear out the fire the old-fashioned way. Alright, alright, alright. Our ship is on fire. Is this a fire beam? Maybe. Uh, alright. Dual lasers into shields. 
mini beam um, across the weapons. Engines are critical. Okay, this is good. I can still hear fire. Why don't you go fix the oxygen? Because we are going to die with our oxygen. I don't think I hear any fire anymore, so I'll close it up. Pilot, why don't you go check out if there's any fire? Oxygen is low, oh my god, I did not turn it on, no wonder. I did not pay attention to it. Alright, you know what, guys? You should come help out. Oxygen should be filling up by now. Okay, health has stopped decreasing. I think uh, if the oxygen is under 25%, everybody loses health. So... We are fine for now. The ship is not in top shape, but what can we do? Let's heal everybody up and then we'll jump to the next sector. Really, as long as the pilot and uh, the engine room guy doesn't die, we are in good shape. Because they can increase our evasion rate. Yeah, I think we're good, but uh, we should really wait for oxygen to refill to 100. Let's jump to the exit. Yep, yep, yep. Huh, what should I do? Look, if I go to the store, it's going to be up to here, and then I think we could barely make it. So let's do that. So we have no shields, unfortunately, but we do need to fix everything up. And a crew teleporter can help us fight the boss. Should I get this or should I save it for the shields? I don't know. Yeah, why not? In that case, I'll sell heavy laser. Should I? This fires three, two times, right? That is decent, but costs three, so no thanks. I'll sell this and I'll also sell... No, I don't need to sell this yet. Unless they are also selling other stuff. No, they are not, and we don't need much of anything else. Yes, it perfectly made it. Good, good, good. Next sector. We don't want to go to any nebulas, because nebulas are bad for our ship. So let's go into the rebel controlled sector. <coughs> okay, we start with a distress call. This is a good sign. This is a mantis ship. Oh, there's a mantis on it. We can't do much about it though, so uh, let's prepare for the cloaking device. Unless we fire first. Yes, we do fire first. Okay, so they fired a weapon, so let's cloak and dodge this hit. Dual lasers into the shields. And mini beam will have to cut through the um, shields and the weapon spay. Is this enough? Uh, let me fix this a little bit. Here you go. They are surrendering, and we have missiles, drone parts, and scrap. Unfortunately, I don't even have any rocket launchers, so, uh, and I'm not using any drones. This is not acceptable. Dual lasers has to go into weapon spay, so I'll turn auto fire to make it quicker. They have no weapons, so um, they are finished. Much better. They gave us double the scrap before than before. 
let's wait for the um, cloaking device to finish charging and we'll jump to the next beacon. This one has a ship but it is in an asteroid field. Asteroid fields are death sentences for us since we don't have any shields. We can't go there. Okay. Let's check out their ship. They have a missile launcher and a laser. We have 30% evasion. That's good, but not fantastic. Firing both at the same time. Great for us. Let's dodge them. Missile should pass us. Good. Um, dual lasers into the shields, as usual. And then laser should go across like this. And it should hit all three. This is good. Dual lasers into the weapon system of auto fire. Mini beam should just cut them into oblivion. Okay, this is good. That's great. We didn't even take a single damage. Let's upgrade uh, engines because we can now. 25% dodge. I want to see how much I get. 35% dodge. That's decent. We should upgrade it one more time if we can. But that will take all of our scrap, so no thank you. Haha. <laughs> Only one path to go, I guess. Always help out. They have a beam. This is bad for us. The beam is going to cut us up, so uh, wait for them to fire the first volley. Dodge this. Dual lasers into the shields, as usual. Mini Beam has to hit the shields because that second shot missed the shields. This is good. Yes, yes, yes. That will hit us. I know, I know. A pilot can't go anywhere. Oxygen can go down. I'll just increase my engines. That's fine. Dual lasers goes into the weapons because I cannot take another beam like that. That should turn them down. Good, good, good. Yeah, you, you could be there, it's fine. Mini beam is charged up, so let's destroy the shields. Alright, their ship is basically done. We'll just turn auto fire on. And our oxygen is getting low, so let's fix that up. <coughs> Alright, this is good. Yeah, as you can see, this ship is really heavy on micromanagement. <laughs> I'm really just trading out oxygen for engine power consistently. It's more like, let's dodge bullets, but let's suffocate at the same time. Suffocation is not instant, so, but bullets are. Let's turn off auto fire and let's jump to the next beacon. Oh, perfect. We're we hitting a store, so hopefully they have shields. Cross our fingers. Shields. Give me shields. Yes, shields. We have to sell our titanium system casting because it's only 15%. Uh, titanium system casting makes it so that when you get hit, 15% of the time you don't take any damage. Not worth it, in my opinion, so uh, this is good. We have shields now, finally, and uh, first things first, we need power bars. And we need to have enough so that we get at least one level of shields. Unfortunately, that also dropped our evasion to 25% only, but with one level of shields, that should do fine. I can always swap out oxygen for shields, uh, for engine power at any time, so... Yes, finally we are getting to where we want to go. Uh, yep, jump to this ship area. We are still at three members only. Three crew members. We need to get more. 
And we have intruders. Okay, uh, Bracken, go help out. Mars is getting her ass whooped. And they just fired. Mars is about to die, no, bring her into the medic bay. I will have to turn off, I don't know, oxygen for medic bay. Okay, okay, this is bad. Uh, missiles cannot be blocked by shield. So I might as well turn off my shields to dodge or try to dodge that missile. While that's happening, I will use uh, dual lasers into their shields. Their missile is coming, let's see if it hits. It does hit, unfortunately. Oh well. Laser beam into there. Brecken's getting killed, so he should get out of there. They should be firing another laser round soon, so... <clears throat> oh no, no, I, I got that wrong. They're going to fire another missile. Brecken is healing up, that is good. Dual laser's done into their weapon system. I have maximum dodge at this moment because I have um all right miss 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 yes it did miss good mini beam will have to cut through them oh this is bad I need to fix that pixel right there this is good all right and dual lasers can go into their shield system after it's charged so I'll turn on auto fire these two guys are relatively healed they should go back into the battle. Ah, they're surrendering and they are giving me 5 fuel, 1 scrap and... Uh, 5 fuel, 1 drone and 18 scrap. We could use the fuel because we only have 11. So uh, I will take it. Why are you still invading me if you guys just surrendered? I'll just kill you. I should really take this as a breach of trust and destroy the ship anyway. <clears throat> Alright, to, um, to rush this, I'll just use the pilot to fix up the cloaking device. My mouse is acting up weird. And oxygen is getting low, so... I think I fixed my mouse. Mars, get inside the engine bay. You, uh, Brecken, goes into the weapons bay, and the captain goes back into the piloting room. Off and off for the shields. I still need one for cloaking, so can I? Yes, I can. This is good. Okay, the ship is optimized for now. Let's jump to the next beacon. Another ship area. Good, hopefully it's a pirate so that I could get another crew member. That could that really help us out. It's not. Oh well. Let's see what they have. They have two lasers that fires at the same time. This is good for us. We could just dodge these all day long. They fired both at the same time, we'll dodge them and then we will retaliate. Dual lasers into their shields. And destroy their weapons, hopefully. Alright, they're trying to fix everything up, so I won't let them into the weapons. Mini Beam has to cut across these three rooms again. I'll turn on all fire. They are basically screwed. Ah, okay, they are, they are surrendering, but they are giving me things I don't need. I would rather take more scrap. You guys just, can just go to hell. Great. Wow, they gave us much more stuff. And they gave us fuel as well. That was a good decision. We don't need another energy bar for now. Uh, but we can upgrade any of the other stuff. Uh, shields? Shields is going to be very important, so I will upgrade shields, but later. 
we can also go to more beacons because it will take us what one two and three so one two and three maybe no one two three no no, no. let's just play it safe demand the surrender of their goods they don't want to fight they want to escape all right Let's do the same thing as what we did before. They fired one gun and they fired the second, so let's do dodge now. Both of them, oh, one of them hit actually, but our shield took it, so that's good. Dual lasers in the shields. This tried and true method seems to work, so it's good. Let's turn auto fire on, I think. Oh no, maybe not. No auto fire. Dual lasers into weapon system. Good, we caught them on time. Maybe we'll cut across them like this. Auto fire can be turned on now. <coughs> this is good. We took no damage. And we got more scrap. One power bar for now. 35% dodge. Uh did we get a new person? That's great! Okay, where should you go? How about into the uh, weapons room? No, you go into shields room. You can help with that out. Shields it doesn't really need somebody manning it, but if the shields system gets damaged, you can just help out to fix it. <coughs> Turn off auto fire and let's prepare to jump. Possible ship detected. Let's go there. It's too late to avoid a fight. We will need our engines to dodge all three weapons. Hopefully our cloaking device can help us dodge one or two hits. Oh yes, as you can see, I kept cloaking device to level one because uh, it allows me to do the most. If you keep it at level one, even though you only dodge for five seconds, your cooldown time is also much lower, so that you can use cloak more often. Okay, dual lasers is up, into shields, and across the barrel like this. Okay, nothing we can do about that. Hopefully it misses. It does not miss. Well, we could turn off the fire. Well, we take out the fire by draining the oxygen from these rooms. Dual lasers into the weapons. And then mini beam across their hole like that. We don't need missiles, man. You should really give us fuel. Turn on all fire. Okay, wait for them to die and then we'll just deal with the fire in our ship. I don't know if the fire is out yet, so I will double check. Okay, the fire is out, so let's close our doors. Well, let's open some so that some oxygen goes in there. <coughs> and our mantis can go in and help out in the repairs. With repairs. Alright, scanners are back up. We need level 2 so we could see into enemy ships. At level 1 you could only see your ship, at level 2 you could see the enemy ship, and at level 3 you can see the enemy ship and their energy levels. Alright, everybody's healed up. Back to positions and we will jump. Oh, not yet. Barely. We need 50 scrap to upgrade to level 2 shields. Yeah, let's exit. <coughs> okay, so we have a drone here and he has two weapons, I think. He also has no shields. So let's destroy him and then get the cash. So we get uh, double the amount of stuff that we possibly get. 
Turn off auto fire. Oh, we can turn on auto fire because he has no shields. Weapons, please. Mini beam across. Yeah, yeah, mini beam should take out weapons first, so. And when he fires, I will use my cloaking device to dodge. Alright, we dodged their attack. Both their weapons are down, so uh, let's take out their other systems with mini beam. They managed to dodge our attack. Okay, this is good. Investigate the station and we should get more scrap. Good. Shields level 2. Do we have enough energy? <coughs> we don't. We should get another energy bar. This is good. I can always swap out that one energy bar between uh, oxygen and engine to get a 35% dodge. It does make a difference. Alright, we are good. Let's jump to the next sector. Both of these are bad. But I would rather go through a nebula than to... Yes, yes. The bottom one's better because we get those two civilian beacons. Oh, there's a store, but we have no scrap, so uh, pointless. Let's go here first. Oh, not to mention, when you are inside a nebula, the sensors don't work. Attack the pirate. So if your ship is on fire, you won't know it. They also have a beam. This is a problem for us. Oh, might not be. Actually, because we have level 2 shields, we could stop relying on cloaking device now. We could just tank a hit, but might as well use it, you know, since we have it. Okay, both of our weapons are up, so um, into the shields you go. Why don't we dodge their attack? Shields are semi-down, let's run a beam across it. They're trying to escape and we won't let you. Okay, uh, beams won't be able to get them. Oh man, we should turn off auto fire. Haha, -ha. the reason why shields is important for this ship is that when beams attack, they can't go through any shields. So if as long as you have shields, this won't, ship won't take as much damage. Alright, mini beam is charged, but we need dual lasers to punch through their shields. Alright, so they're firing. Uh, we can't dodge yet, so uh, mini beam across these three rooms again. Eight missiles. They are surrendering with eight missiles, two drone parts, and 16 scrap. We don't use missiles, man. Give us something else. More scrap. It will take us 100 scrap to get to level 3 shields. In this case, I'm going to upgrade... Um, no, we, I don't even have enough scrap to upgrade engines. Forget it then. We only really need um, 5 bars. And we have 5 bars, that's good enough. We don't need anything else. Teleporting will be useful for the final boss. And that's the main reason why I have it. This is not an invading ship, so I don't need it for any other reason. Okay, so they have a big missile launcher and a burst laser. They have no shields though, so two lasers into weapons and mini beam into weapons as well. Can I hit all three rooms like this? Let me, let me give that a shot. Okay, it works.
They are firing lasers. I don't need to dodge that, but I do need to dodge their missiles. But their weapon system's down anyway, so no problem. That was easy. Jump to the next sector. Another ship. Same as before. Dual lasers into shields. Mini beam on standby. Oh, not yet. Dual lasers should not be. We have intruders, and the problem is we don't know where they are. We need to listen to sound. Okay, they, uh, as you can see, the teleporting is getting hurt. That means they are in that room. Let's bring our mantis and our brecken. We should do fine against them. They're firing a missile. We need to dodge that using our cloaking device. And it's still hit with 90% dodge? Well, whatever. Shields. We need to take out their shields. Oh, I think it's taken out. Good, good, good. How about three rooms? Can I make it four rooms? I don't think so. Three rooms. Brecken and Nellis is getting hurt. Bring them to the medic bay. We'll Okay, they've just destroyed my teleporter. That's fine, though. The weapon systems is back up, so I need to hit their shield again. They just fired a missile, so uh, shields can't block that. I'll turn off shields in exchange for engine power. Mini beam, charge up, charge up, charge up. And it dodged it. That's good, so we could turn on shields again. And laser into three rooms like this I think they took their they teleported their guys back out that's good bring them to repair this system here comes another missile so turn off shields again I think this one will hit though uh, rarely get that lucky to have two misses in a row oh I missed again that's great So yeah, 35% evade is nothing to frown upon. We will turn off medic bay and turn off one engine power for two shields. Yeah, I have enough for level 3 shields. I will do that. But I have no energy to give it. Uh, to make the shield go on. Yeah, I'll exchange it between um, engine power and shields then. I have cloaking device anyway, so... Cool. Two of those beacons in a row. Ah, this is a problem. He's got ions and he's also got a uh, missile launcher. <coughs> we can dodge the first missile launcher with our cloaking device, so... We'll deal with it as it comes. Alright, they're firing both at the same time. Cloak now. Laser into shields. We need to take care of the shields first. Nothing we can do, wait. Really? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, they're firing ions, which my shield could block, but not too well. So let's use maximize engine power right now. We also need to dodge those uh, missiles, so. Okay, so they are firing a missile. Optimize engines. Hopefully it misses. It missed! Great. Turn back on oxygen. Dual lasers into shields again. Shields should be broken now. Let's take care of weapon systems. We have another missile coming, so you know the drill. It landed though. 
And our oxygen is destroyed. This is bad. Brecken, get in there and fix it. Dual lasers and two missiles? Yeah, yeah, they're dead, they're dead. Pilot can help out. And we get an anti-personal drone. Anti-personnel drone? Useless, we don't even have any drone system. Okay, so they fix it. Brecken, go back into weapons room. Nobody's hurt. Turn back on oxygen. We can use another bar of energy. <coughs> yeah, this is good. Let's jump to the next beacon. Oh, very nice. Uh, we got a blue option. Let's see what happens. Okay. They have a anti-missile uh, drone with a beam and a laser. We can block beams with our level 3 shields and uh, we can just use the cloaking de device for their lasers. Dual lasers up. Well, we'll dodge the first one. Dual lasers into their shields. It missed. This is bad, but uh, it took four rooms. If I set up the laser like this. Yeah, this should get four rooms. This is good. All four rooms. Beams cannot cut through our shields. Dual lasers into uh, shield room. They are trying to escape now. Mini beam across uh, those four rooms again, if I can make it. Yep, there we go. They're surrendering, and uh, we could not use the fuel because we already have 21. Scraps, I need more scraps, and I don't need missiles. Next time, offer me more scrap. Um, this is good, I think. I don't need to upgrade anything else. Another power bar is good, but I want to see what the shops have. I'll try to save up so that when I see the next shop, I could actually buy something. Getting out of the nebula will increase the rebel fleet's rate of catching us. But I think I have to do that. Yeah, yeah we have a lot of time. What I mean to say is that the rebel ship the rebel fleet will catch us slower if we are inside the nebula. Oh, Bert's laser mark one. A new weapon. That's not bad. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. But in order to use this, I need another energy bar. Uh, yeah, this is decent. I have two lasers and one beam. How many times does this fire? Two lasers that do one damage each. Two lasers that will do one damage each. Dual lasers are so much better than burst lasers. Because it's just a um, cheaper version of it. But we can use it. No complaints here. Black market weapons dealer spins you a tail, and he's trying to sell you an item. We don't have the scrap, and we can use the weapon that he has, so let's attack him. Our shields should be able to tank their laser, and our cloaking device and engine should be able to dodge their missile. And we have three weapons now, so that's good. Since they have a... Um, Zotan sh shield, which prevents the next five damage. We will just spam the dual lasers and the mini beam. It doesn't matter where they go. Okay, their missile is coming, so let's cloak.
And then they have um, their laser. I'll take that with my shield. I'll put back on my... They're trying to escape. Oh, it doesn't matter. You guys are going down already. Okay, this guy's offering five fuel, which we can't use yet. Uh, yeah, we will not accept that. The missile's coming, so I'll turn on my... Optimize my engines, and it missed. That's good. More scrap than before, yeah. This is worth it. And we could get that extra power bar now. So, uh, we can... Get another bar of shield up. We need another bar or two so that our engine will be maxed out. Yep, we definitely can go here before we leave. Uh, what weapons does he have? He has got an ion and he's got a laser. We will fight him. Because we can beat him. We should dodge the ions and tank the lasers. Yep, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're down. And we get a Pegasus missile. Let's check that out. It does... It requires three power and it does, uh, fires... Shots per charge uses one missile to fire two and it does two damage each. It could pierce all shields and it has a chance to make breach and fire damage. This is a good weapon. And we have 21 missiles too. But we don't need to use it yet. I could make do with more shields and uh, more engine. Five bars of engine is good enough. I don't need any more. Shields should be at four though. Yeah, that's what I would do. But since I don't have enough energy bars to use it, two more energy bars would help. Might as well go here. Nothing here. Waste of time. And finally we go to the next sector. Oh, how much does it take? Oh, I'll check that out later. Scrap some of the debris, look for survivor, you pull back. Oh, we lose a crew member, this is bad. This is horrible. Oh well. Jupiter is not even level 1 piloting yet. Then I will use the Mantis as pilot, I think. No, no, no. What am I thinking? This is good. We need more crew members, though. Definitely. Slug Homeworld or Pirate Control? Pirates have a chance of giving us a slave if we run into them, so uh, that's better than the Slug Homeworld. We have just had really bad luck at getting more crew members. Yes, defend the outposts. Always. Alright, so this guy is a beam drone, so uh, as long as we have shields, we don't need to worry about him. Auto fire, please. 
we'll dodge the ions and uh, tank the lasers. Wow, that was not enough. Okay. Their shields are still up. Their shields are finally down. And now we can spread out our attack. They have no chance of beating us. Our ship is just too much too strong for them. We have a fire here. So let's clear that out. Air out the fire. Should be going out any second now. Our oxygen is at 80%, that's good enough. Let's jump to the next sector. Hey, distress speaking. Join our crew! Great, we have another being. He should come here. Mantis should go back to shields. Can we upgrade anymore? Wow, it takes 200 to get another bar of shield. I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. Okay, let's see. A teleporter could be up one level if I want it to be. Weapons should definitely be up one level. And oxygen, might as well. We have a lot of scrap now, so we could spend it wherever we want. Another ship beacon. He has three weapons. And a lot of health. I'm not going to fight this guy. Or can I? That's a beam. And that is another laser. We have three shields, uh, and we don't know if he has any drones or not, but he has one shield. We can beat him. No, no drones, that's good. Dual lasers, and burst lasers into the shields. And we will try to dodge their first volley of lasers. Wait for it, wait for it. Three times. Mini beam is freed up, so uh, cross three rooms like this. Yes, uh, let's spread our, our attack. The shields are on fire. And now they are surrendering, uh, let's see, 24 scrap, 1 fuel, 1 missile, no thanks. What do we get when we beat him? 42 scrap, that's decent. A lot of ship beacons, that's good. We'll just go to every single one of them. We need both our lasers to hit their shields. Like this. We don't need auto fire because we want both lasers to hit the shield at the same time. Might as well dodge one or two of his attacks. And the rest... The mini beam should cut across his weapons bay. And now, auto fire could be turned on again. And we can just sit back and relax. Once again, if you want to survive, offer me more scrap.
Oh, that was more than double of what he offered before. Okay, so can we upgrade anything? I guess we can start trying to get that last bar of shields. No, no, I'll wait until I meet a shop. No, no, this is a slaver. We can get another crew member. This is good. Uh, both in the shields. Oh, this is bad. I did not wait until my cloaking device is fully charged. But at, at least my engine room is filled, so... Mini beam cut into their weapons. It's like this. A step is an offer. Yes. They, we surrender. Take one of our slavers as slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. Always accept their offer. You get another crew member. You can go into shield room and um, Mantis. You could stay inside a cloaking device. This is good. Oh, this is fantastic. We don't use any drone parts anyway, so we could just trade it for more fuel. Reject your offer. Yes, I will re... re they say that I will regret my decision, I think they will regret their decision. through them as well. I need all of them to fire at the same time, so I'm turning off auto fire. They have a beam and they've got a laser, both of which my shield can tank. I'll wait for the mini beam. There you go. Both lasers into the shields. They both missed. That is bad. We'll just wait for the same thing to happen again. Good. Lasers into the shields. Did I just accept their surrender? Oh, accidentally. Doesn't matter. We have enough scrap anyway. There are three distress beacons. Can I go to all three? I don't think so. I'll go to this one. You locate the source of a distress call, a nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread virulently during the workers. They are trying to set up quarantine to mitigate the spread of disease but lack any enforcement and a riot seems likely. I think if we go down there, we will lose a crew member, so... No thanks. Another distress call. We have 25 fuel, we can... afford it. Oh, so we took some damage. That's fine, though. This may be just... If I go to the store, the rebel ship will be up to here. If I go to distress, they will just nearly catch me. So I'll go to the store, repair my ship. I don't need drone control ever. Repair arm, collect scrap, but reduces scrap by 15% from any source. Let's sell anti-personnel. I want to keep the Pegasus missile because there's nothing to buy. Actually, sell Pegasus missile and I'll buy the scrap recovery arm. Yeah, this is good.
Yes, they just missed me. They have three weapons. One is a bomb, one is a laser, and one is a beam. Fire lasers into the ship at the same time. And then a mini beam goes across these three rooms. They've teleported a bomb. Uh, can we just cloak to... Yes, that's good. Dual lasers into the shield room. That's good. Mini beam across these three rooms. Yeah. All right, we've defeated them. We don't need much fuel, so no, we will not accept your surrender. Let's get out of this sector. Anti-ship drone. Mantis homeworlds. This is bad. Seems like I can't go into the other nebula for some reason. This is bad because mantises are known to be invading ships. Well, let's see what we can do. This is a quest. And it gives us a quest marker. Oh wow. Hang on. Um, I could upgrade to get the next bar of shields now. And I'll trade them out between the engine and the shields. I really like the scrap recovery arm. Because 10% more scrap is quite a lot. I want to stay no longer than I have to inside Questus uh, Mantis homeworld, so I'm going to rush for the exit. They have a yeah, I could I could beat him. Weapons are charged up. I'll ready the cloaking device for the missile. Same as always. Lasers into the shield and a beam into the hole. And that's it for this ship. Oh, we get a new crew member. Welcome aboard. It's an NG2. They are specialized in fixing ship. I need him to be inside the weapons bay. Oh, but this guy's pretty far up in the weapons room, huh? So uh, I guess you go to the shield room and reckon you can be with Melis and you'll be our assaulting troop. You guys should actually go inside the teleport. It'll make more sense that way. Okay, this is good. Can I upgrade the ship in any way? Uh, two more energy bars would be really helpful. So we can have four shields at the same time. Yeah, I think we are ready to fight the final boss now. We can beat him with this, this equipment. Let's jump to the next sector. Well, turns out the mantises aren't that hard, so... <laughs> I'll just stay here for a little longer. Okay, uh, this is a teleporting ship. Where will you guys go? I'll send my assault team into the oxygen room to intercept them. A 
and ready up my weapons. Okay, now they're firing their missiles. I turn on cloaking device. You want to turn on cloaking device right after they fire it, uh, their weapons, because if the weapon is already on your screen, it will land. Their accuracy has been locked. But if it's still on their screen, then your accuracy can change. Nellis seems to be taking quite a bit of damage, but I think he'll survive. Lasers into shields. Mini beam into shields as well. Alright, so uh, Nellis taking some damage, so let's bring them both into the medic bay. And we could turn off one dodge for the shield, I think, or for the medic bay. Laser into the shields. Their missile is coming, so I'm going to turn off medic bay in hopes... No, I mean turn off oxygen in hopes of dodging their, their missile. But it landed. Oh well. Mini beam can't cut through them for now, so uh, we'll just wait. These two go and fix this up. The dual lasers into the shields. Another missile is coming, so we'll dodge it. As it passes us by. And this should finish them. That was a pretty good battle. Let's wait for the cloaking device to recharge and we could jump to another sector. Another beacon, I mean. We have 15 drone parts and an anti-ship drone. So we should really get the drone controlling device. But we don't have enough scrap to buy it. They have two weapons. One is a missile launcher and a laser. We could beat them. They're going to teleport into our ship. That's bad. We will move our assault team to intercept them. Our weapons are almost ready. Good, good, good. Uh, dual lasers into shields. Mini laser. Mini beam, I mean. Our team is getting wrecked. Let's pull them out. Bring them into the medic bay. Dual lasers is charged up again into the shields. Their um, missile have just launched, so let's cloak. And it missed. That's good. Mini beam into uh, shields. Good. They have pulled out. Assault team is fixed, so uh, let's send them to repair the broken door. Burst lasers into weapons. Alright, that's good. Can we upgrade our ship in any way? I don't think so. I don't. We don't need any more upgrades. I guess I could make the teleporter cool down faster, but it's unnecessary. Jump into, um, yeah, this one. After this, I'll go to the store and buy needed equipment. Attack all ships. I think it's a repeat of what happened last time. Yes, that is good. Weapons are all charged up. Mini beam. Three lasers. We can tank all of it. Our team is getting destroyed, so pull them out. Whoa, whoa, that was close.
and mini beam should uh, go across like this. My assault team has not leveled up yet. They haven't got a kill. Into the store. We can buy almost anything. Drone control, please. And we have an anti-ship. Good, good, good. And uh, fix all for nine. And we get another fixer. Good, good, good. Might as well fix all our ship up. Cool. We have two of these guys, two NGs. If I need some place fix, I'll just drag them into the area. They will fix it up in no time. And we have an anti-ship and a defense drone. The anti-ship will really help out. So will the defense drone. The next thing I will upgrade will most likely be power bars. Uh, same as before. Assault team into the doors. Oh. I didn't even notice that my weapons are charged up. I'll dodge the missile first. Dual lasers and the shields. Pull out my team. No, they're trying to escape. We won't let them though. Power up medic bay. Are oh, they destroying in my stealth? No, they escaped. After them. Okay, I, I think this is good. Uh, you guys, yeah, you guys will survive if I pull both of my guys in here. Oh, might as well take these guys and restore stuff. Repair stuff. The NGs will repair them really quickly, so... Into the medic bay again. That's just how combat is. You you take hit and run tactics. Heal them a little bit and then go back in to fight. Good. Go get yourselves healed up and the NGs will repair the ship. Alright back into the shields and you guys can go back into the teleporter. Yeah, we have a full crew now, I think. Missing one person. Distress signal? Definitely good. NG crews are robots so that anything re related to diseases they won't get any, so uh, they are disease immune. And we could just get free rewards from here. More scrap. Can I upgrade anything? Yes, uh, power bars would be nice. Finally, we reached a uh, quest beacon. Ion Blast, level 2. This is a really great weapon. But we don't have anything to uh, trade it for. Let me see. Let me see. Is it worth it though? Yes, yes, definitely. I have to get that. If I want to beat the game, I have to get something like that. But I don't have enough. Oh my god, this is sad. The best weapon in the game and I can't buy it. Oh well. I can sell everything and I won't have enough to buy it. Let's see, um, I, uh, this will bring me to 50 and this will bring me to uh, 75. These things cost so cheap too, I, I can't... I guess I could sell burst laser and maybe 
the automatic re reloader. That will be 45. 45 plus that, it will be 78. Not enough. I really need the Ion Blast, it's so powerful. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. I don't think I need scrap recovery arm anymore, so uh one two and three no Thank you. Okay, Iron Blast has to go uh where should it go actually? It should go in the very end because it requires three bars and it's a very delicate weapon. I will need as much. Okay, I need 35. 35 scrap in order to get the next power bar up. How much would I need to upgrade weapons one more? 75! Whoa! This may not be a good decision after all. Can I sell anything else? No, I can't. I need everything else. I shouldn't have been so um, carefree with my weapons before. Uh, with my scrap, I mean. <clears throat> well, since I have extra energy bars, I'll just dump them in here. Hopefully we get more scrap soon. Anti-personnel drone. Thanks. Not useful, though. Slug Nebula or a civilian? Civilian. I really don't like going into the nebulas. Okay, so we got a distress call. Usually those give a lot of scrap, so that's where we're headed. We'll free the... those guys, and we got 60 scrap. Halfway there. One more. One more reward and we should get it. Reject your offer. Wow, they have three shields. This may be a really long fight, but uh, I can help myself out by doing this anti-ship. And this should help. This should make it easier for me, I'd say. Lasers, lasers, yes. Is this... This gotta be a halberd beam or something. Looks enormous. Thank god it could not pierce four levels of shields. They don't have a missile launcher, so uh, I don't need to worry. Did they just destroy my anti-ship? That needs to be on for me to win this battle. Yeah, they should not be auto-firing. I should time them both to fire at the same time. Like so. I also really need them not to miss. They are surrendering and they're giving us two fuels. One drone part and one 25 scrap. That's not bad. I don't want to fight this guy anymore any longer than I have to, so I'll take that. And I'll upgrade weapons one more. And now we could power up Ion Blast at the same time. Good. Our ship is now a... It's just godly is all. It can beat anybody now. Ion Blast is really powerful. The rest of the scrap that I possibly get will go into power bars. 
No, no store. No scrap anyway. Pike beam, thanks. I'm not going to use it though. This is another slaver, we will get our final crew member. Ion blast into their shields. Everything at auto fire will be fine for now. You see how powerful the ion blast is. It just continues to fire every four seconds. Oh, assuming that if you just keep it like this, then that's the third time it missed, man. Good, good, good. All right, the rest will go into weapons. Yeah, you guys are not getting away. Yes, accept their offer. And we get our final crew member, which is another... NG. Into the... Cloaking device room. Good. This is good enough. There's a distress beacon here, but uh, I should really reach the question. I forget it. I just go to as many sectors, as, as many beacons as I can. Better bet. We have intruders. Where are they? Inside the engine room? Okay, you two go inside a medic bay. Yeah, we are at the stage where we don't need to micromanage anymore. For fuel, that's good. Are they healed up? Yes. Into the teleporter. Mars into the medic bay. And let's jump again. Ah, our evasion rate is now at 45. That's because our captain and our engine room master is level 2. Level 2 yet? Oh, almost level 2. One star and that's two stars. Those represent levels. Same as before. We don't even need to care anymore. But Grosley should come here so that I could drag people to fix things easier. I could just go like this and bring them to wherever I want and keep one guy at the shield group. I didn't even see that missile coming. I should pay more attention. Okay, uh, their shields are down, the rest goes into weapons. No... No surrender. Okay. We have enough to power up power bars two times. And this should be good enough for an anti-ship or anti-personnel at the same time. For now, we will just power up the medic bay. No, actually, power down oxygen into the teleporter.
Nothing here. Defense drone, Mark II. Not necessary. I can't make it to the store and back, so... Oh, uh, maybe I can. I'll go. I'll go to the store. Sell some stuff. Pipe beam I'm never going to use. This I'm never going to use. Uh, we don't need another beam, do we? Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, we can... Who is this guy? Brecken. Okay, we will fire Brecken, I guess. Because if I fire Brecken, then my assault team will have two mantises. Yes, yes, I'll do that. Where's Brecken? Dismiss. And store. Fire by my mantis. Bring mantis into the teleporter. Ship. Is there anything else I could buy? I'll fix all. Anti-ship one is good. Why not? And that should be fine. And we just made it to the exit. Jump out of here. We are closing in to the boss. Only two more sectors to go. But it is also in a nebula. We'll deal with that though. Our ship is already really powerful. We can't lose anymore. Two weapons and we could use the scrap so... Um Get some more scrap and power some stuff up. I don't think we need any more power bars, though. One more weapons should help. Hmm. I don't know what to purchase yet, so uh, I'll just not buy anything. dangers of the nebula. They're trying to sell us a weapon. And they have two missile launchers. I don't think I can beat them. Or, well, I'll have to take a lot of damage. So I will ig ignore the ship. One of those slug ships actually is a story. Uh, is a, uh, is a plot story. It's a plot ship. When you talk to those slugs, they will give you a special weapon, and you can unlock the slug ship. What is this? Um... Okay, fine. I'll just not attack you. I don't want to fight anything that I don't have to, so... Stores. Do I have anything to sell? Nothing. I don't need to go there, I think, so I'll just upgrade my ship to the max. This should be fine for the rest of the game. I don't need anything else. This is bad. This is a storm experiencing nebula and is experiencing storm. Another ion storm. I'm going to have to go the long way around. I guess we will be going to the store then. Huh, those are nice, but uh, can't use anything though. Buy some fuel. Nothing to sell. Let's go. That's a cloaking ship. They fire two volleys. I could take it all, so. I am weapons into uh, your weapons, the rest into stealth. 
and weapons. Stop missing so much. Yeah, this ship should be going down any time now. Okay. To the next sector. But first I want to upgrade my drone control to two of them. That's good. Yep. To the next sector. I keep getting sector and beacon mixed up. Oh, they just teleport into my... And they're attacking the pilot. I can't have that, so... Help the pilot out. Alright, I really should attack them all with everything I got. Auto fire should definitely be on. Is that a missile launcher they have? Okay, I need to prepare for cloaking. Jupiter should go inside a mech bay. Mantis should come in here. They teleported out. This is bad. Come in here, fix that. I didn't see the missile flying at us because I was paying attention to too much stuff at the same time. I see it this time though. I don't think you are getting away. These guys can go back inside a cloaking device room. And the two mantises should... No. Pilot should come back into here. My mouse is acting up. You're giving me way too little for such a long fight. Alright, these guys are done, so bring the captain back inside the pilot room. Wait for them to heal up. Okay, we're ready for the next sector. This time I got it right. The last stand. Okay, we should be ready to fight the final boss. You arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Your access codes get you past initial security and a direct fee to the captain, capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first saying, what is the meaning of this? Who are you? I'm not gonna read the rest of this. You explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. We are going to fight this huge ship and that will win the war. Basically. We are at a base. Stores will have nothing for us almost. So let's just go and attack that guy immediately. Wait, wait, let me see. I have 100 scrap. Nothing to sell. Might as well go to the, to the store. Could have some good stuff for us. May not be the smart thing to do though, because they're flying down. Can I make it on time? Hmm. This is a long path if I'm choosing to go go through all of this. Repair. Yeah, I might as well go through the repair zones. 
We don't need to fight these guys if we don't want to. We can just hightail out of here once our engine charges. They just fired a missile at us, so we are going to turn on stealth. Another one. Hopefully it, it misses and doesn't miss. Damn it. Get in there, fix it. Another one is coming. And it lands. Is my yes, it's on. Oh, I could jump. Jump the hell out of here. This is way too far a distance. I won't be able to jump to the repair sector. Go back to base, I'd say. Yeah, go back to base. What a waste of time that was. To store, maybe? No. I have to charge forward. Another one of these. My gods. Might as well burn an anti-ship here. Anti-ship drone here. Iron blasts into shields, bursts, and dual lasers. Nobody's hurt. This is good. Their bomb missed us. The beam will not cut through our shields, and now they don't have any shields of them their own. And we should be able to take care of the ship easily. <coughs> yeah, they're done. I'll upgrade the uh, cloaking device to level 2 because I think I need it. This is good enough. I might as well upgrade the engine because I can. No ships please. Too bad. Ion burst that one anti-ship and we have intruders so oxygen room I also need to be careful because they have a missile launcher so I need a ready to cloaking device their shields are almost done but first bring our Mantis is into the medic bay. They have no more shields. And I missed that one. Damn it. Did they kill my Mantis? Oh my god, no! This is just bad. We need to find some way to compensate. Grozzly, you can go here. Yes, uh, you and the Mantis is going to become the next assault team. Because I lost that other Mantis because I was being stupid. Well, that's the best I can do for now. Let's wait next turn he's going to go here uh, with this much health I should do fine I think yeah yep 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 let's wait okay next battle will be with the final boss
First things first. We have to teleport. But, um... Yeah. We have to teleport. And meanwhile, I could turn off Medic Bay and maybe one level of cloak into one anti-ship drone. Two anti-ship drone will be necessary for later, but right now we have to teleport into their missile launcher. This boss has four weapons. One is a beam, which can't do anything to us as long as we have a shield up. One is a triple shot ion blaster. It does a lot of damage, and we'll take care of that after we deal with their missile launchers, which pierces shields. At 48 dodge, we can dodge most of it, but not all. So we need to take care of that. The lasers is basically just three round bursts of lasers. Not a big deal. Now focus every single weapon into their shields. They fired three round bursts of the missile launchers, so I have to dodge them. And the cloaking device just helped us do that. My invading team is now taking care of the missile launcher. And once it's destroyed, I can teleport them back, heal them up, and then send them to the Iron Blaster. Oh, their shields is up again. This is a problem. But their missile launcher is broken at least. So let's pull my guys out. Heal them up. I don't know, I'll turn off oxygen for this. Are they healed up? Yeah, they're good. Bring them back into the teleporter. Okay, they have cloaked themselves, and uh, we have nothing to dodge anymore except the ion, so might as well use cloaking now. Alright, so you two can be teleported into their ion room. Yes, there you go. Oh, oxygen is decreasing rapidly, so we gotta restore that. Yeah, this is good. Maybe even... Do this. With their ion gone, we really don't need engines anymore. So, uh... This is bad. How did my shields get destroyed so fast? It's their ion weapons. It's really breaking through. Okay, okay, this is not a big deal yet. My guys are taking care of their iron weapon. And good, they have no more iron weapons, so we can pull them out. Bring them into the medic bay. Replace oxygen for it, like before. Ah, uh, well, oxygen can be up, actually. Okay, everything is ready. We do need shields, but we don't need engines because we don't need to dodge anything anymore. So we'll power up our other anti-ship drone. All three weapons into the shields. The only thing that we need to care about is their cloaking device. But eventually their health will be drained, so it's fine. We still have 40% dodge even with only 4 bars of engines. <laughs> Put Grozzly back in here. Finally, the shields are gone. Let's just take another round at it. To break it further. And how about these two in here? Never mind. They are cloaked again. But we are handling him pretty well. We still have a lot of drone parts. We only took so much damage. 
and he's about to be destroyed. Okay, first part of the boss is done. And we can upgrade some things if we can. What to do? Uh, how about doors? Pilot, why not? Teleporting, sure. Healing, why not? Actually, can I upgrade weapons by one? Yes, weapons by one. The rest will be doors. Yeah, this is better. Turn on engines. And this seems to all be good. We need level 2 cloaking device for this battle though. The second battle is the hardest. In my opinion anyway. And we will... Hang on, where are we anyways? He's jumping to this sector, so let's chase him. Alright, same as before, teleport my guys over and destroy their missile launcher. This is definitely necessary. <clears throat> okay, we are handling it just fine. Their shields are taking a hammering. And we are dealing with their missile launcher. Hopefully before he could get the first first off. That sound right there is a power surge and soon he's going to unleash a barrage of missiles at us. We gotta watch out for that. We could take our guys back out. Alright, this here it comes. These are his drones. Turn off No, not turn off, but uh Unlock your weapons and turn on stealth. He's breaking our oxygen room and that can't happen, so uh, let's go there and fix that up. We can open all, our, all, our, all of our doors because we need the oxygen to flow evenly in here. The oxygen is almost destroyed and that can be a problem for us. Charlie, get inside a medic bay and so to you. I will power up the medic bay. Oxygen is broken, so uh, we really should open up those doors. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. So let's heal these guys up and then I will power up my anti ship drones to help out. Another power surge is coming, and we should dodge it, but we can't. We don't have enough. The cloaking device is charging up, so might as well attack the shields. Yep, this should help even out the oxygen in those rooms. You should go here and fix that up, man. So should you. Uh, go in here. Why not? Uh, actually, we should destroy their drones first. And you should heal up. Get out of there, survive. We don't need to worry about their drones so much. Because soon they are all going to disappear when we destroy the boss. But that's going to take some time. Oxygen should be turned back on, yes. Uh, medic Bay should be kept on. Decrease my cloaking device into level 1. How about like this? Who is dying? Okay, um, you two go and fix this. And you go here. Like this. And you should get out of there, go there or something. Power surge is coming. I'll prepare the cloaking device. I think we are reasonably well, well off for now. 
you two go over here, deal with the drone, and my NG should get healed. <clears throat> Another power surge is coming, but my cloaking device is charged up. Because I'm using level 1 instead of level 2, it charges it up faster. Let's use cloaking device now. I really shouldn't be using my weapons at the same time, but whatever. Anything else to worry about? No. No, this is good. I could really close up all my doors, but why not? Why bother? One of these guys goes in the shields. The other should get healed. I'll open up these doors so that I can move around easier. Come on, one more hit, man! And finally, level 2 is destroyed. Let's chase him down for the final showdown. I don't need to... Yes, I do. Uh, Alright, so these guys are set up in the teleporting room. Cloaking device is turned on to level 1. Turn down oxygen, turn down medic bay so that I can prepare my uh, anti-ship drones and we could fight the final version of the boss level 3 he now has a um, Zoltan shield up <clears throat> so to speed up the process we turn off cloaking and turn off um, teleporting to turn on both of our anti-ship drones the rest goes into shields. The three missiles are coming. And they all missed. That's really nice. Right, when those power surges come, the only thing that we can do is... Turn off that and uh, turn on stealth. Cloaking device and cloak. Good. Oxygen is going to be decreasing rapidly, but they don't have a Zoltan shield up anymore, so turn off one of the anti ships. Turn on teleporter into their missile launcher. One of them landed, so let's fix that up. Our engines need to be in tip-top shape. The engines are fixed. Bring them back here. Once they destroy the missile launcher, I'll pull them back. Another round of power surge is coming. But... We can have another anti-ship drone up very soon. Let's cloak to evade that. Ah, they've sent invaders. Let's go and beat them. Let's go and kill them. They've destroyed our level 2 sensors. Oh, they're really killing me. Let's go inside a medic bay and turn that on. Another round of those lasers are coming. I need that other anti-ship drone up though, to speed up this process. Maybe not. This is good enough. Can I dodge the rest? I don't need to even. That's good. The boss is going down. I could just wait here. Oh, oxygen level is low, so put that on. And there you have it. The intruders are killed at the same time. And that's it. Thanks for watching.